And you know, as a, as a Muslim father, you have to kind of get trained into calming down. We don't have that training. We actually have quite the opposite training. Interestingly enough, the, the, the words that come out of Yusuf salam's mouth, they begin with Ya Abati. After he, so he's about to tell his dad the dream, and he uses the words Ya Abati. Now in Arabic, if you say Ya Abi, it's a sign of your addressing your father. When you say Ya Abati and you add that Ta that you hear, it's a show of respect. Oh my noble father, my respected father, my beloved father, dad I love you. It's like these terms of respect have been added just by that ta when he addresses his dad. What we're learning is not only is this child ready to communicate with him at any point, at the same time he's also extremely respectful. And that's not, so, that's at the same time it's a compliment to the child, but at the same time it's a compliment to the father. What kind of father communicates openly with his child and at the same time maintains a relationship of respect? Because you know when you get very frank with kids, what happens? They run all over you they'll run all over you and they become too casual and then you have to become strict because you say I should be strict because that way they'll show me respect if you come from where I come from Pakistan there's one way to get respect if you're a father be as harsh and as mean as as nasty as you possibly can be and that is the way you get respect <laughs> you never hear your name said nicely if your name is Abdullah you don't never hear that say Abdullah could you come here Abdullah and you better show up looking all scared. You can't smile. If you're smiling at your dad, you're like, what? What is this? What are you looking at? Being angry, whether you're... And by the way, this, is just, doesn't, this isn't just for Pakistanis, even though we're awesome at it. Right? It's parents, although Muslim parents are generally very harsh. They just, and they think that's what you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be disciplinaries. Especially the father should be tough. So when he walks into the house, there should be absolute silence. Everybody should drop what they're doing. Dad's here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like everything's going well in the house, everybody's playing around, things are happening, and <gasps> Dad's in the driveway. Huh? <laughs> Sit still. Don't look around. You know? There's that, that, that culture. What Yaqub salam is teaching us is the opposite. This child is most comfortable talking to his father. Even about a dream. Even about a dream. And when he addresses him, he commands disrespect. What I'm trying to get at is, we thought the formula for getting respect from your kids is being harsh and mean. Being loud. Being scary. That would be the way I will get the respect of my kids. Maybe that worked in Pakistan. Maybe that worked in Cairo. Maybe that worked in Palestine. Maybe that worked in Syria and in Bangladesh. It ain't working here. It's this here is America. It ain't working here. And you've already tried it and it hasn't worked. And then you come to the Imam and say, my teenage boy doesn't listen to me. What should I do? What you should do is realize where you live. First of all, seriously. You're not in a culture, you're in a culture where your kids go to school. Your kids go to school and they go with other non-Muslim children who when they address their mom, they don't say mom, they say, Samantha, come here. <laughs> That's what they do. It's normal for them. That's normal for them. And your, your, your kids go to school with other children who when they're talking about their father, say, my dad, man, he's so weird. That's the nicest thing they'll say, by the way. <laughs> That's not the bad stuff yet. And peop, kids talk about their parents just like they're talking about some idiot. Seriously, that's how they, what they hear all the time. And then you have our children, you know, you have, you know, the parents here, many of you have funny accents, at least to your kids. It sounds funny, it sounds weird, you know. And they hear, and they were trained in a culture to constantly make fun of other people. We're just trained that way. So guess what, if you're an easy target, your, parents, your kids behind your back are even making fun of you. There's no respect, is what I'm trying to say. And your idea and my idea was if we're extra harsh, we'll get their respect. No. If you're open, if you're a genuine friend to your children, if you're a source of nurturing and protection for them, you will have their respect like nothing else will gain it. And you will, you will maintain a communication with them that otherwise cannot be had. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah.